In this video, I show off some really awesome artwork that just came in the mail. Stay tuned. What is going on guys? Justin here, AKA No Good Comics, and welcome back to the channel. I am excited once again to be bringing you guys some uh, original art that I had ordered from a good friend of mine on Instagram that I had met probably about two years ago. And uh, so if you're a big fan of original art uh, and, and you wanna see what I got here, then stay tuned, make sure you hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Uh, welcome, 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 appreciate the support. But uh, yeah, I wanna first give a huge shout out to Nicholas Lane. I met him on Instagram probably, like I said, like about two years ago. And uh, or I guess maybe right around the pandemic, right, right when the pandemic first started. And um, just started seeing a lot of his work that he was putting out. He was doing a lot of X-Men drawing and things like that. Um, he just does this for fun. This is a hobby for him. And I was immediately drawn into uh, just falling in love with a lot of his artwork. So this is actually not the first time that I've bought stuff from him, uh, commission pieces. Um, and I'll have to put some inf my, the links below for the other videos that I've done uh, for some of his other artwork because he did a bunch of X-Men drawings for me as well uh, back, yeah, like about a year ago or so. And I absolutely loved him. So uh, here I am back again, reaching out to Nicholas Lane to uh, do some other things. Cause I recently, uh, I read some uh, James Tynan, Batman, the, uh, the, the beginning of where he, where he took over uh, issues 96, uh, uh, what was it? Eight or 86 to 94. And, uh, and then reading a little bit of the Joker war and things like that. So um, I was really inspired by, or kind of fallen in love with Harley Quinn and Punchline and that whole scene of them two, uh, kind of going back and forth during this whole Joker war and things like that. So, um, I've gotten, I got inspired to want to ask or, you know, request these commission pieces. And I thought Nicholas Lane was the perfect guy to, uh, to do this with. So I reached out to Nick. And, uh, so the pieces I'm going to show you are absolutely gorgeous. I actually stepped it up from asking from a uh, 11 by or eight and a half by 11. Uh, I think it was about eight and a half by 11 to now he's uh, taking commission pieces for 17 by 11. So I went uh, a little bigger there. His prices are so affordable. Make sure that you guys, if you're not following Nicholas Lane, if you haven't seen my other videos of what I've shown of his, uh, I highly recommend checking out his work over on his Instagram channel. I put all the information in the description below. Um, so yeah, this is really exciting for me because uh, I can't wait to get frames for these things, put them on the wall. But uh Without further ado, let me get into the actual artwork. All right, guys, so I just opened up the first piece and this is insane. Just, I now I seen, he sent me images of, of you know, the drawing throughout the process, but seeing it now in person, this is just insane. Let me just hold this up without damaging anything, but can you just take a look at this stunning piece of work here? Punchline, Nick, dude, oh my God. Look at the details on this thing. Me holding it up here, just not doing it justice. Let's take a look at some of these details, man. Um, holy crap, dude. So looking at this, I just, I can't get enough of the detail here. Uh, just seeing how Punchline's face and her hair, uh, the details of how she's dressed, the costume and everything. Just awesome, absolutely awesome. Love how she's got the dagger, uh, you know, pointing, at, hanging, hanging at her fingertip. Uh, her just chilling here on the pool table. <laughs> you got the, the the gun sitting on the side there. I mean, look, even the detail of like the goons in the background, they're all, you know, all standing there with their clown masks on. I mean, even like the jeans and stuff, the, the, the sneakers. Uh, I mean, even the rug, the detail that you would put into this. Nick has done such an incredible, incredible job. Oh my gosh, this is just absolutely awesome. Nick, dude, you killed it with this piece right here, man. Oh my gosh. Dude, it looks even better in person. I know you sent me, you know, a couple photos of this as you were finishing up, but man, oh man, you really blew it away with this. So thank you so much for this, dude. It is it is awesome. I love it, love it, love it. Cannot wait to get a, uh, a frame for this. Um, all right, let's get into the second picture here. So of course, as I'm talking about Punchline and I'm talking about Batman and just how I was recently inspired to really get into these character and uh, characters and really fall in love with them. Uh, of course, if we're gonna have Punchline, you gotta have Harley. So here's Harley Quinn and uh, another absolute bomb right here. So stunning, so, so stunning. I, I'm telling you, just me holding this up, it does not do it justice. The detail in this thing, let's get some close-ups here because, wow, the details in this, again, very similar where it's just like, 
I love the fact that Nick has taken time to like put in the detail of, uh, well, obviously first, let's talk about Harley, right? Just the beauty of, of, of what she has here or what, what he's drawn here with, you know, she's got her hammer here. She's got the bat behind her. Uh, you know, this style of her, um, her actual costume is what I was, uh, I, I had requested when he, when he initially asked me, cause, uh, you know, I know Harley has, you know, she's worn a lot of different costumes throughout her time. And, uh, I thought this was the most appropriate since this is the time that, you know, she, ha she's at war with punchline. Um, so yeah, just seeing her in this type of uh, costume here, it's so awesome. I love the detail her standing in basically in front of a bar. All the details that were put into this, you know, the drinks and the bottles and, uh, you know, you get the cash register in the background as well. Um, and then from down here, you have uh, this guy, Red Tool, who I was not very familiar with other than like I, I looked him up and I just see that, you know, uh, he had had some past with her, uh, and, you know, kind of played a role in some of her previous story arcs. Um, I am not very familiar otherwise, but this is very, really, really cool to just see that he's knocked out here and, uh, and she's standing over him like this. So again, just so awesome. You even got the little Joker and Batman keychains there. I just noticed that that is very cool. Very cool. Her knee pads, all the details here at the bottom, like, ah, just so awesome. This is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I cannot wait, uh, oh, man. Again, I cannot wait to get this in a frame as well. I'm going to have both of these right next to each other. And I'll tell you, me holding this up just doesn't do it justice, man. It really doesn't. This is like, oh my God, this is insane. I can't wait. So I'm going to take some pictures. I will definitely put some stuff up on Instagram. Uh, wow. Nick, dude, thank you so much. You absolutely killed it. Absolutely killed it. So yeah, that is just absolutely stunning stuff. I, again, cannot thank you enough. If you guys like what you saw here today, if you're interested in something like this yourself, I highly recommend checking out Nicholas Lane. Put his information in the description below. Reach out to him. Go check out some of his other work. Uh, again, I'll put the, the links in the description as well for the, some, uh, one of the other videos that I had done talking about some of the other artwork that he's done for me. So check that out as well. Uh, again, Nick has just been such a great guy. Easy to talk to. Very open communication when it comes to the commissions and what you want done. Uh, you know, he does a couple of revisions and things like that. So I don't know if he's taking commissions right now, but uh, it's definitely worth it to hit him up. Go support him. Again, this is something he does just he just does because he loves doing it. It's a hobby that he really enjoys. And you can tell, you can see that, uh, that his heart is in this when he does this kind of work. So definitely check him out, reach out to him, uh, you know, see if he's taking commissions right now. And uh, again, Nick, dude, oh my God, you killed it once again, man. You killed it once again. Uh, as I said before in the beginning, this is not my last time. I will definitely be returning to you at some point uh, as we, as I continue to build out my, you know, my, uh, my original art collection. So uh, Nick, big shout out to you, bro. Thank you so much. Everyone here, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And make sure you go follow Nick. Seriously, I uh, really, really do mean that. Uh, otherwise, uh, hopefully I'll be back with some more stuff soon. And until next time, I will talk to you later.